For anybody who's been watching my channel for a while now will know that I don't do a lot of acoustic guitar related videos or content. That doesn't mean that I don't really, really love a great acoustic guitar and love playing acoustic guitars. In fact, that's how I started playing guitar at the age of 10 as I started playing on a classical guitar. And from there graduating up to a steel string acoustic guitar, acoustic guitars have always held a very special place in my heart, shall I say. I've owned some nice ones over the years. Anybody who does watch my channel again will remember a couple years ago I did a video when I acquired this beauty. This is a Martin Triple O 28 acoustic guitar, beautiful spruce top. Beautiful East Indian rosewood back and sides on it. It sounds amazing. I actually purchased this going into a store with no intention of purchasing it, sat down, fell in love with it, and couldn't put it down. But there's always been a guitar I have wanted for many, many, many years uh, that I always had my eye on. There's a wonderful little guitar boutique guitar shop in Toronto, Ontario that I would always frequent whenever I was in town. And that's the 12th fret guitar shop. And I'd always pick up any Callings guitar they've had in there probably for the past 20 plus years I've been going in there and drooling over the beautiful instruments that Callings made. But I just never went ahead and pulled the trigger on one of those. Until now that is. Uh, about a week and a half or two weeks ago, I sourced out this beautiful Callings OM2H from the fine folks over at the 12th fret guitar shop. And I gotta say, I'm just blown away with this instrument. It is the finest acoustic guitar that I've ever had the pleasure of playing and I'm really happy to have it. So I wanted to do a video showcasing this, but I thought, wouldn't it be interesting even just to quench my own curiosity how this stacks up to the Martin Triple O 28 that I have. I gotta say the fit and finish on this guitar is second to none. The folks at Callings are doing just some of the finest work out there and it's just really, really special guitar. But I was thinking, you know, the Martin Triple O 18 and this OM2H have extremely similar body style dimensions, very similar style guitar, Sitka spruce top here on the callings, as well as an East Indian rosewood back and sides. The one big difference between the two of them would be the scale length. With the Martin clocking in around 24.9 inches, whereas I believe the uh, Callings OM2H is 25 and a half inches. So that is the one difference. The feel of it is just beautiful though. The Callings, I just, I, it's one of those guitars that you don't want to put down after you pick it up and it just sounds glorious. So I thought, how could I do a video comparing the two? And this is not meant to be a battle between two guitars. These are both very fine instruments, but I was very curious as how they would both record as this is going to be more of a studio guitar for me than it is going to be taking it out and playing live shows with it. I just wanted to have this for recording purposes, for sessions and for my own composing. Now, one thing that needs to be mentioned is the Martin guitar retails for around, I believe, 3,100 US dollars in the United States, whereas the Callings OM2H is upwards of $5,200 US, if I'm not mistaken on the prices that I checked. The Callings is definitely a more expensive instrument and you would expect it to probably have a little bit better fit and finish, maybe even a little bit more premium woods and whatnot. And I can say from what I've seen between the two of them, that is actually the case. But I thought, how would these stack up when recording? So what I did is I took my Warm Audio WA47 Junior microphone, which sounds really nice when recording acoustic guitars. I plugged that into to my normal signal chain when doing recordings and plugged it into my warm WA273 EQ, which is a Neve style mic preamp and EQ, although I did not use any EQ on this. It was just the mic into the preamp, set the preamp appropriately. And then that went into my warm audio WA76 limiting amplifier, which is a copy of an 1176 compressor. Very, very gentle compression in the signal chain. I didn't want to really mess too much with the sound of the acoustic guitar. And so what I did is I, I kind of took some very basic little acoustic guitar parts, one strumming, one single note picked kind of idea with some arpeggiated chords and also a very basic rudimentary little finger style pattern that I played on both instruments. Now the sound files I'm gonna play for you are gonna be done in two ways. I took the both performances of each instrument and I played the long version of each so you can listen to those back to back. 
And then I also edited those same performances so they're switching more often directly between the two performances so you can hear the sound of these guitars back to back. And this video is for nothing more than my own curiosity and I thought I would share it with everybody out there and for any folks out there who are ever interested in hearing how a Callings OM2H would compare to a Martin Standard Series Triple O28. So I figured we could have some fun with it and be interested in hearing what your thoughts and opinions are in the different different sounds that we've got. Now, obviously this can only be so scientific. Uh, this is not like reamping an electric guitar where you can use one performance and hear the exact same performance between, you know, let's say two different presets or two different amplifiers. We can't do that with acoustic. It has to be performed twice. While I tried to perform at the same sort of dynamic level, uh, the same area of the guitar where I was picking, you know, I didn't do one performance way back by the bridge and one over the sound hole. The variance of where you are sitting in relation to the mic is going to have a big effect on the tone. So I really tried to position myself the exact same distance with the microphone pointing to as close to the same area between the two instruments. So I really tried my best to keep everything constant, but it is really at the end of the day impossible to do so. So, you know, some of the variance between the two instruments you're going to hear, and I mean, they are going to sound different, but some of it may just be that, you know, the microphone was was half an inch off in a different direction or a different place or, you know, an eighth of an inch further away or closer, which will have a dramatic difference when recording, as anybody who's done any critical recording will tell you the same thing. So I did try to do my best to keep everything as constant as possible, and I hope I did an okay job with it. But anyways, this will give you an idea of the different qualities of each of these fine instruments. Without further ado, here are the sound files.
All right. What did you guys think? I thought it was pretty interesting. I have to say I was a big fan of the way the Callings OM2H sounded. Uh, it's making me start to wonder if I will really be reaching for my Martin that often anymore. I do love that guitar, but I'm really, really in love with the new Callings. I, I do like the tone of it a little bit better, but really that's going to be up to personal preference. Some folks may very well prefer the way the Martin sounded. Both instruments sound fabulous and play very well. The playability I also have to give to to the Collins. It's just effortless to play. Uh, I love the feel of the neck on it. They've just done an absolutely spectacular job. And I'm so happy to now have this guitar added to my collection. And this is just going to be a lifelong guitar that is never going to be too far away when I need to play any acoustic guitar parts. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anybody who's interested in either the Martin or the Callings, I have no affiliation with either of these companies in any way, shape, or form. I purchased these with my own money. I will put links Links below though for these two instruments for anybody who is interested click those through I don't get anything from it but I just wanted to give you a way to click through to be able to to learn more about these two fine instruments so I hope that was enjoyable it was something quite a bit different from my channel but I think I will be doing some more content in the very near future with uh, this incredible instrument uh, if there's anybody who wants to hear anything in particular as far as content goes using acoustic guitars please let me know and I'll see what I can do if I feel it's something that I can do well Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some enjoyment or you sort of watching it. And also subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really, really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.